Becky. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have a pretty quick homeschooling video for you guys. I've been talking a lot about curriculum lately because it is the end of a school year and typically that is when myself and plenty of other homeschooling moms here on YouTube are sharing our recap of the previous school year, our plans for the next school year, curriculum choices, curriculum reviews, and things like that. And so I've been spending a lot of time making videos for you guys about that. Some of those videos have already come out on my channel. Some of them are still yet to come, but today I thought it'd be really fun to just talk to you guys a little bit more about Evan Moore. I've talked about them so many times over the years because we have just grown to love them more and more and more every single year. We use so many of their workbooks because they are just that good. They are affordable. They're thorough, they're comprehensive, they're engaging, they're simple for me, they're not intimidating for my daughter, and I just love them. They have tons of choices. I mean, they've got so many workbooks to choose from, and sometimes you may think, where do I start? Which ones are the best ones? And so I decided I would sit down today and make a video with my three favorite Evan Moore workbooks. And I'll tell you, this was really, really hard. And I changed my mind a few times, and I could still very easily give you way more than three that are like, the top of my list. I chose these three for specific reasons and I'm gonna share with you why today. But something else that's really important about today's video is it's actually leading into a really special video tomorrow that you don't want to miss. So if you like today's video and you're interested in what I'm sharing with you guys today, make sure you don't miss tomorrow's video because you're going to want to be a part of it. So anyway, top three Evan Moore workbooks. So, okay, like I said, this was really, really hard for me. I first and foremost picked the Daily Six Trait Writing. This is actually a new workbook to us. We have used several other workbooks for longer, but once we started using this, I noticed an instant and immediate change in my daughter's writing. And this is in addition to our regular writing and grammar program. We're doing this on top of that, just because I felt like what we were doing for writing, what we're doing for writing in her other curriculum is fine, but it wasn't really fostering her creative style, her making her writing more interesting. So when I added this into the mix, it's been the perfect thing. It's, it's given her, she's getting more of the technical formatting side in her other curriculum, and she's getting more of the creative side uh, in this curriculum. And we're over halfway through. And I've noticed a huge improvement in her writing, and it literally takes maybe five or 10 minutes a day. So it's easy to go ahead and do this with any other writing curriculum that you may or may not already be doing. You don't have to, um, but I think it's the perfect marriage so far that I have found, and I'm really enjoying this. So that's why I chose this one, just because I think it's really unintimidating. It's really unintimidating, which sometimes writing can be intimidating for the student and for the parent. For both of us, it's really non-intimidating. I've got you know, my teacher's manual here. She's got her student workbook and we just kind of work through it together, five or 10 minutes. Writing is done, it's not stressful. She's not dreading doing writing. And so for that reason, I chose the Evan Moore Daily Six Trait Writing as my top, one of my top favorite Evan Moore workbooks. Okay, for my second workbook favorite, actually was something else we started last year as well for the first time. It is the Seven Continents series. Now we have not done the Asia one. We also have Antarctica, which we are saving for sixth grade, so next school year. But we did the North American study in fifth grade and loved it. It was so much fun. It's not a history curriculum per se. It's more social studies and geography mixed together. And of course, with the Seven Continents series, you're focusing on a different continent in each workbook. So we love North America so much. She wanted to do Antarctica next. We also have Asia to do after that. And so what I love about this is it starts in the beginning. You're doing some basic, what you would consider probably traditional geography. So you've got relative location, absolute location, different types of maps and how to read them, the different symbols and um, graphics that you'll find on a map. And then you get into the what I think is the most fun part. So like, in, for example, you've got resources of Asia, the Asian culture, you've got political divisions, physical features. And so basically you are deep diving into each continent and the countries within each continent in this workbook. And I love that. It's been so interesting. And whenever possible, I will pull out a YouTube video that's related to the topic, or we'll look at a certain animal and do a different study, do a separate study about an animal that we talked about in our in our workbook. Even though this is a newer workbook for us, we just had such a great time with it last year that I really felt like it had to be moved up to one of my top 
Evan Moore workbooks. And the last thing, and this was the one that I kind of flip flopped back and forth about because it is again, a newer thing that we started in fifth grade. But this really saved my life in fifth grade. I talked about it in my fifth grade recap video. We were doing something else for science at the beginning of fifth grade. And there was nothing wrong with what we were doing and I still love what we were doing, but it was taking up a little bit too much time. And for various reasons, especially in the beginning of fifth grade, I did not have enough time to fully devote to teaching science and history and English and everything else. So I had to step back a little bit and I felt like, and I still feel like science, especially in the younger years, is one of those things that I personally feel like is not and should not be a top priority. Yes, you want the basic concepts and you want to be introducing these concepts, but I really don't feel like in elementary school and even in some parts of middle school, it's necessary to spend that much time in science. So what we did was we stepped back from what we were using and the first place I looked when I was trying to figure out what are we gonna do for science, because I did wanna do something, I just didn't want it to be too time intensive for me or for her. Look to Evan Moore, I always start with Evan Moore whenever I'm looking for something else. Um, and I found they have the Skill Sharpener Science. They also have Daily Science, which is really great as well, but I personally love the Skill Sharpeners series. One thing I love about them, and I know some people don't, but I personally love the full color. I think, especially with science and all of these pictures that you're gonna be looking at and charts and graphs and things, I think the color is really, really important and an added benefit to any workbook to make it more fun. I know when I was in school, like I always looked forward to whatever the book was in the next year, whatever the cover was or, you know, whatever. I just thought that was really neat. And I think it's really neat with the science in particular because you do have so many different pictures and it's really short. There's a little worksheet every day. And then at the end of every week, if you want to, you have a hands-on activity or experiment. So we already finished uh, Skill Sharpeners 4, this is 5, and I'm definitely, for right now, planning on using 6, until that, which is the last level they have at this point, because I really just feel like it's doing exactly what I wanted it to do, which is basically hitting the high points and talking about these very basic science concepts without taking up too much time so that we can focus on math and language and history. So this has been the perfect fit for that. So even though I have other workbooks that I really, really love just as much, I guess, this one really saved us and was really a fun new addition to our curriculum in fifth grade and gonna be going into sixth grade. So highly recommend really any of the skill sharpeners, but especially in science, if you're looking for something really easy that doesn't take a lot of time, but does still have some hands-on activities, if that's important to you or your kids, then skill sharpener science, I think is a great fit for that. Those are my top three Evan Moore workbook choices. It was really hard because we use them for so many other things. We use them for spelling, we use them for vocabulary, we've used them for grammar and punctuation. And it was really hard for me to think like which three are my favorite, but I think these pretty much sum up my favorites, but definitely don't overlook any of the other Evan Moore workbooks. They're just, there's something about them. They are not overblown. They're open and go. They are teacher friendly. They're student friendly. There's a couple different options usually within each subject. So maybe you don't like the skill sharpener science. Maybe you want more of a black and white you know, just reading only approach, then you would probably like daily science. So, so many different options and every single one of them is really affordable. That's something else I really appreciate, especially if you're maybe spending more money on one or two curriculum over here, you know, you're paying a lot for maybe something else, then you can fill in a lot of your other subjects with Evan Moore and not break the budget. So, so many reasons to love them. I certainly do, we've used them for a long time, quite a few years now and in, in all different forms and variations. So. I hope this video was helpful and gave you a good place to start. I highly recommend going to the Evan Moore website though. You can get on there and look at every single book, do a flip through every single page, see what's in the table of contents, to see exactly what you're getting when you purchase one of their workbooks. I think that's really, really helpful. I hate it when you're looking for a workbook or a curriculum and they only show you a few pages. That really doesn't give you an idea of what you can expect in the middle or later on in the book. So really a great resource is just their website. Check it out. Also, don't forget to check out my homeschooling playlist. It's linked in the description box for you. All of my previous homeschooling videos are in that playlist. So tons of other videos about Evan Moore other curriculum choices, curriculum reviews. Uh, there's even some homeschool day in the life videos in there. Just tons of different homeschooling videos in that playlist that I think will be helpful. Make sure you check that out. Don't forget to check out tomorrow's video for that little surprise I have planned for you guys. I know you're not gonna wanna miss it. So I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.